Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We have a bunch of new leaks to take a look at for the Generation 9 games. More riddles, more rumours, also stuff on when we might be seeing the next trailer. And also a regional form of Wooper that is probably fake, but either way, put it in the video regardless. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, this is just a continuation from yesterday's riddles by Riddler Koo. Of course, he posted the image of Sudowoodo and then he posted this poll here saying, What's its type? Rock, grass, any, and then puppy. And then we've got um, more analysis here from Soul Silver Art saying, Numon, question mark. Could be any of these. Rock is a new Sudowoodo evolution. Uh, grass could be a new regional form or regional fake. Any could be like the type adding gimmick. And then Puppy, I chose because I believe he could be hinting at a new puppy like Sudowoodo and that it can disguise itself as something else, maybe also rock type or looks like one type, but it's another. So yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, Riddler Koo doesn't usually just put up a Pokemon like that and then that's the Pokemon that's getting like a new form. I think there's a lot more than meets the eye with Sudowoodo. Of course, it is the disguised Pokemon. It disguises as a tree. Um, obviously, it's a rock type, so it could be getting a regional form. Could be getting a regional fake. Could just be talking about a Pokemon that's disguising something. Could be talking about the gimmick. Could be anything, really. Um, but either way, I mean, that's just a little bit more of a theory about what that Sudowoodo could be. I don't know how I would feel about a new Sudowoodo regional form or evolution. Does it really need one? Probably not. But either way, we might be getting one in Scarlet and Violet. But there's something about uh, Sudowoodo or some sort of disguise Pokemon that we can expect to see in Scarlet and Violet. But then Riddler Koo went and posted saying, Well, uh, the topics for today are three different things. The scheduled poll result, an amendment, and a puppy. So that's what the three things that he was uh, that he posted about. So obviously the first one was the Fue Coco evolution like teaser leak thing. The second one was the... Um, the Sudowoodo and then yeah I think the third one was obviously just the poll so we then have Silver Silverrot saying okay here's a key looks like I was wrong about Fue Coco's face being its focus a poll result answer to one Fue Coco poll maybe all of them here is the focus an amendment uh, could be the bread dog which is uh, the mimic or the coin mon feature and then the puppy could be the Sudowoodo like doggo all my first theories so yeah the whole Fue Coco thing he's talking about there um, was the poll where it was like, what's going to change the most about Fue Coco when it evolves? And it seems like it's going to be its hair, just because of the image that he dropped with, obviously, the, the cockerel on the crocodile's head. He then says, though, alternatively, the amendment could be an amendment to a previous mon or type of said mon. Not sure which one. And then the puppy could be the bread, but that doesn't add up to the cling riddle uh, for me, so I'm still, uh, still sticking to my first theories. Then goes on to say, went and checked that all of the scheduled Fue Coco polls ended today, so it's very possible that the chicken is the answer to all of the polls as suggested below. Only thing that throws me off is him saying the scheduled poll result, which implies one, but I may be looking into it too much. And then we obviously have Yoridan here saying, I believe the rooster on the crocodile's head answers all of the poll questions. It's a tailed biped, has the comb, so the emphasis is on here, and the covered it. Uh, with names I think we can associate with having a dumb face. So that's apparently most likely all of the characteristics of Fue Coco's final evolution. So it's going to be a tailed biped um, creature. It's going to have like quite a bit of hair, like maybe like a comb of hair or something like that. And then also it's going to have maybe some sort of like dumb looking face. So could be like quite a dopey Pokemon or something like that. But that's probably the best theory so far on Fue Coco's evolution. Again, could change, could be completely different. We're not too sure. Um, but either way, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and then we also have uh, Blaze and Cinero saying, this is what amendment means on Google, so it might be an evolution, uh, a minor change or addition designed to improve a text piece of legislation, etc. And then it could be like a cork tree or something like that. So that's kind of the, the key for um, the topics today that we got yesterday for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We then move on to uh, this as well, which is another really good theory by Retro slash Chris, who said it would take too many characters to post my answer. So here is uh, an image. So the object mon, this is talking about all the things that he riddled yesterday. So the object mon, there's a position a dog can be in that we refer to as a loaf. Loaf is also another word for bread, and you can cut that loaf into slices of bread. Uh, the cut slices of the bread dog are Zygarde's 10% forms. You can take the puppy to Route 16 in Alola to separate into 10 different cells or slices of bread in this example. You can also take cut like going to a bank and asking them to cut like a $10 bill into like quarters. 
you'll probably get a sack to collect the bread in the game. Let's get this bread is a phrase used to represent the daily grind, which is in terms uh, gets you money. Bread comes in a bag and what else comes in a bag? Coins. So we'll probably be able to obtain a bag to collect coins throughout the region to obtain a Pokemon like with the Zygarde Cell Quest in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon or the Spiritune Wisps in Legends. So again, kind of just going over what we're already really guessing for this um, object mon. We, like, we're, we're kind of confident that it is about um, coins or a coin Pokemon or collecting a bunch of different things to make a Pokemon like you can with Zygarde in Sun and Moon or you can with Spiritomb and its Wisps in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So it seems more and more likely that we are going to have like that kind of mini game situation. Um, not really a mini game, but I guess just things to find in uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I mean, it's going to be an open world game as well. So it could be like the Koroks in Breath of the Wild or something like that. I think the Koroks, I don't know. I've not played it, but that's what I've heard. Um, so yeah, just kind of like a bunch of scattered things around the region. Obviously, it's an open world game. So I guess it just gives you more things to do. And I guess if the reward for doing it all is like a new Pokemon, then I guess obviously it's more of an incentive to do it. Anyway, next up we have um, some more stuff about the Fuecoco leak as well. So anything like this, and I'm picking Fuecoco. So obviously the Cockatrice there. And then also this makes a lot of sense. I assumed all three starters were based on this story, but it's possible all three are based on separate stories. This one is perfect for a feathery Fuecoco. I can totally see a Spanish Feathered Knight helmet mixed with a dead dragon slash croc. I'm starting to think that Fuecoco is inspired by the myth of St. George and the dragon so popular in Spain. And then he goes on to say, also, I really think this means something, a scrambled word. Maybe it's an acronym or an anagram in English or Chinese. We need your help to figure it out. So this was also posted on the image for Fuecoco's like, leak um, yesterday. It says GWJSE. So this could be some sort of anagram or it could just be something that, like, that stands for something else. Um, but either way, I didn't even notice that. And a lot of people also didn't notice that. Uh, until my video already went up yesterday but yeah that's also something to take into consideration don't know if uh you can really make a word out of gwjse i think it's more likely that it just stands for something anyway next up we have this so riddleku went and posted this on the 1st of july which is pdy now of course july is character month so we're kind of over the the new pokemon month now that was june july is a new month of riddles and he said that we're going to learn about characters in july and he put the words well the letters pdy uh and then that's all and then we obviously had pokemon fm here saying i think it's a number and not a word p equals seven d equals three and y equals nine so seven three nine and this isn't uh and this that is the number of cabrola could be a new form how did you get those numbers phone keyboard uh look at each number and then the letter it corresponds to so that was a really cool theory but then riddler went and said if i add vowels you would know what i mean but i won't lol so apparently this pdy has vowels in it um, so a lot of people are expecting this to be the word payday. You know, this was by Chi who said, you know, it got, it's got to mean payday then. I think uh, Chi1989 uh, got it. So yeah, I guess obviously if you put in A's, I mean, if you put in the, like vowels in, in the middle of P, D and Y, it would say um, payday. But then it's also missing a Y as well there with P, D, Y. Like it would be P, Y, D, Y for payday. So yeah, I, I don't I don't know if that is definitely the correct kind of um thing that they're really like that he's talking about uh we have more posts about it payday perhaps something to do with meowth well we did see a cantonian mouth in the first trailer always a chance for persian new evolution or maybe even a regional fake if those do coexist in the region with the original forms yeah that's what most are saying too it would make sense but it would also make sense with the coin mon but why triple riddle that i'm still in thought about it coin mon makes sense here with payday as that could be a hint and it's uh move to use or even what if Payday is a reference to the Coin Mon's ability, which would work like Payday, but I reworked instead. Then again, Meowth is still an option too. Uh, he said, if you add a vowel, we will get it, meaning it is simple. The two words in my mind are Payday, referring to dog Pokemon with coins like Meowth. P-Day, which refers to Preparation Day, meaning a trailer today, perhaps. I don't think it means that it's going to be a trailer today. I think it literally just means that, you know, it's, it's, a word, it's like a word, but he's just missing vowels and that's it. But again, if it was Payday, it would be P-Y-D-Y, because -Y, obviously Y isn't a vowel, so... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if it could still be payday, and obviously A and Y and pay, like you don't really need the Y. It's quite silent, isn't it? So uh, I guess it wouldn't really be a thing that you definitely need. Um, but yeah, it could be some sort of like new Meowth form. Meowth usually does get um, new forms as well. We got Alolan Meowth, we got Galarian Meowth, and stuff like that. Um, so it is a Pokemon that always seems to get a new form, like Charizard, mostly because of the anime, because they always drop a few episodes about a new Meowth form. So it could be Payday, which means a new Meowth form. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, this was also by Pokemon FM saying, in regards to Q's PDY riddle, where he said adding vowels will solve it, I looked at Pokemon names, abilities, gym leaders, and moves. 
None seem to have it except for the move Payday. Probably is uh, if there probably is there is a space there. If we can uh, have space, then uh, Dog with a coin perhaps. So yeah, obviously we've got all these things like Pain Split, Parabolic Charge, Parting Shot, Payday, Payback. Like all of these, the thing is like all of them don't have like um, all of them have like extra letters that aren't a vowel but so does payday so i, I don't know I don't, I don't think it is payday i, I think i don't know it says mention the possibility of news today which i agree and this adds to p day could be pokemon day like p day or like i don't know something day p day can mean supply equals demand hinting on a trailer today demand we went trailer and a supply is a trailer p day can also mean preparation day we did get our last trailer on june the first i do believe so could be another one on july the first uh, obviously, if this video goes up, then we didn't get a trailer today. Um, but either way, I don't think it is P Day. I think it's more for like Pay Day. I, I, I mean, the best kind of guess at the moment is Pay Day. But again, the why being there still kind of, I don't know, makes me think that it, it could be something different. Could be about characters as well. You know, July is character month. So yeah, it could be something about a character. Uh, looks like this may have been all that the YouTube visit this region was leading up to. So obviously this is referring to the visit Kanto, visit Galar, visit Johto, Hoenn, whatever. Uh, all this is just a filler poll for this week. And next week we get visit the Scarlet Violet region. Still makes sense to me. Um, and then we have the official Pokemon YouTube channel. So this was a poll. And it says, what was the first Pokemon region you visited? Kanto or Johto, Hoenn or Sinnoh? You know, Raw Kalos, Alola or Galar? Um, so yeah, it could be just filler and then next week we could get some information. A lot of people are expecting information next week. And then we also have this as well, which is quite interesting, uh, interesting by Funeral Gay, uh, who said, heard that the partner mini, uh, was meant to be a real direct, but Nintendo, um, didn't have enough. So they just made it a third party thing to kill time would make sense. Then that if Pokemon news was meant to be in that, they'd have to change the plan and scramble something new together. But it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, if they wanted it to be a full direct, they would have made it a full direct. These things are planned months in advance. So, yeah, I don't know where they heard that from, but I, I don't think that's the case. Anyway, finishing things off, we have this new Wooper kind of uh, fan art, I guess. I don't think it's true at all. We have the Quagsire Revolution here. Uh, it, it, it kind of captures the whole regional um, fake thing situation going on. And this is just what it is translated. So, uh, shines in the dark. Uh, filth, I think that says, um, I, I don't have a clue what that says, causes per oh, causes paralysis, sleepy, sad, strange but funny, um, starved, fork, crown, uh, electricity. So yeah, this was tra uh, translated by um, Doku, I do believe. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think they're trying a little bit too hard to kind of jump on the whole regional fake thing. But either way, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it is going to be true. It looks really cool. I really like the design. But for me, this is what a regional fake could look like. You know, a robotic creature, man-made creation. Uh, and this is what I kind of think of when I think of these regional fakes. I think they are going to be like this. And whether they become like electrical steel type. Either way, though, that is all the stuff for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything that we covered today. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.